Hi, my name is Van. I am a coach based in Singapore. In this sharing, I would like to share some ways to understand ourselves or to increase our self awareness. This topic is inspired by some of my clients. Many of them are very interested in doing pros and cons and there's very little thought about what they are doing with themselves, what's the meaning. And I will share a simple model to represent oneself and some ways to understand oneself better. Let's get started. Let's share the model to represent oneself. Before I share the model, let's put this share aside. That's not the focus for today. At the first layer of the onion, we can observe behavior of oneself. Like, I keep quiet or I speak less. That's first layer. You may wonder what's behind this behavior. It could be based on some principles or saboteur. In this example, it may be hyper vigilant. And this person is very careful and trying to not make mistakes in an extreme manner. And by speaking less or speaking less, uh, this person believes it can avoid most of the risk. And what could be the underlying belief? Um, one of them could be is a virtue, like talk less as a virtue in some culture. It could be a belief that others don't understand, therefore one speak less or speak less. The third possibility is the scarcity mentality. The person belief what they have to share are very variable and in link to supply. And therefore, by sharing less or sharing less, they believe it could reduce competition. You may wonder, what can we try to understand ourselves? Here are some tools for us to consider. The first one is reflection. It is an activity to review what has happened, what we observe, what are some feelings. And in the review process, we can learn something about what has happened. Reflection, the first one. The second one is reflection. It could be one-to-one -one or in a group setting. The learning could be coming from the per person involved in the feedback and possibly in the feedback process. You realize something that about yourself. That's feedback. That is body sensation. Sometimes the mind and body could not agree with each other, for example. If one says yes to a request and the body feels like heavy or tight, there is possibly some disagreement, something for us to explore. 
is a third way. A fourth way is intuition. Intuition is the phenomena thought come to us without us inviting it. It usually come to us in an unexpected way or in unexpected time. And as we understand ourselves more, it seems that we have better intuition. Last but not least is coaching. A coach provides a space for someone to reflect, to understand oneself, identify gaps to for the sensation, possibly intuition. And here are the some ways to understand oneself. Thank you for your time.